In the last two lectures, we learn about logarithmic and exponential image transformation. There is a way of combining these two transformations using power law transformation. In this lecture, we will learn how to do it. Let's get started. First, load the image, then convert the image into double data type. The mathematical operation we are going to perform on images requires double data type, so we must have to do it. The first power of first output is 0.5. For second output, it is 1.5. And the power of last image is 3. Using MATLAB's subplot function and the imshow function to show the result. The first image is the original image. The second one representing logarithmic transformation. The third and the fourth image represent exponential transformation. That means when the power is less than 1, it behaves like logarithmic transformation. And when the power is more than 1, it behaves like exponential transformation.